society as a whole has deplorable and appalling morals and values and priorities um, collectively. Um, like, the reason I'm saying this is, um, you know, after enduring abuse to the extent um, I easily could have obtained and broken a world record for hyperventilation syndrome, hyperventilating for nine hours a day on most days. And I'm referencing a collective um, view of society, collective um, analyzation of society. Um, so, of course, there are several people that are extremely considerate, extremely loving, compassionate, um, and a lot of people that, um, you know, like, uh, I guess there's a variety of different ways to explain the situation, um, like, uh, you know, what will, um, grab your attention, what you find, um, credible, what, um, uh, you will, what will influence your beliefs, for example. Um, that's where hypnosis and, you know, media propaganda can really distort, um, a uh, moral code in a person, a uh, person's personality, a person's belief structure, who they are, their personality characteristics, what they value, um, what makes them themselves. And <clears throat> there's um, certain things, but um, moving on, basically, um, in the, uh, situation, I felt, um, absolutely, um, hopeless and helpless, um, and, uh, you know, just showing my arms a little bit, um, all of a sudden, like, uh, you know, there was a shining bright beam of hope, right, um, and, uh, that really made my day a lot, <laughs> um, but, like, uh, it was just, um, stressful and strenuous to impose those types of expectations on an individual um and uh you can see where this also can tie into animals and everything along um you know all forms of life so um like i said we all have feelings and um the uh you know, there's different motivations for, uh, different behaviors, but, um, you know, there's different, um, resources of information, and, um, well, um, regardless of such, um, so as an example, I'll go ahead and explain this, um, you know, and how, for example, it can correlate with hypnosis. So, in hypnosis, um, you know, there's a part of your, um, conscious, like, a, there's an important concept in hypnosis known as the critical faculty, sometimes known as the critical factor as well. Um, and this is a part of consciousness that, um, is, uh, similar in regards to, uh, being a part of consciousness instead of, um, you know, consciousness as a whole, um, to uh, short-term memory because short-term memory is a conscious process as well um it's an aspect of consciousness although you know there's more to um consciousness than just short-term memory it's not um you know um con um short-term memory is only like a uh, puzzle piece out of the puzzle of consciousness just like the critical faculty is a different puzzle piece um with a different image on the piece than short-term memory. So, putting the puzzle pieces 
together you have collective consciousness um you have various different um sensory information and um thought processes your critical faculty your short-term memory um reaction time reflexes feelings and sensations emotions several things <laughs> so um well consciousness is complex but uh, regardless of such, um, <clears throat> the unconscious mind definitely entails much more than the conscious mind. It uh, controls much more than the conscious mind, although um, the conscious mind is basically more refined and um, focused. Um, so, uh, um, you know, it's uh, a conscious awareness, um, you know, like... Uh, um, consciously, you might be watching the video right now, but you're not, uh, you know, and listening to the words that I'm stating. That's what your conscious, that's what's in your conscious awareness. You're not paying attention to the color of the wall behind the computer screen, phone screen, um, anything else along those lines that's being dealt with by your unconscious mind. Um, only partially even acknowledged, um, uh, or like a par only partially integrated into um, sensory information for um, conscious mind for con for your conscious <laughs> in the conscious moment. Anyways, um, so um, you know, of course, there is different. Um, there's a varying uh, processing and analytical capabilities um, and there's different things that can uh, basically um, be uh, used um, to influence thoughts and beliefs um, I mean which doesn't necessarily need to use hypnosis but um, as an example um, you know I could say one statement the um, same statement in two different ways um, I could say it uh, you know same body language everything along those lines facial expressions tone of voice with my shirt on or my shirt off and um, be seen as a uh, reputable and credible um, depending on the person of course uh, <clears throat> to varying extents um, and degrees but um, you know uh, with my you know, um, with, uh, the slight alteration of presentation, so, um, that, uh, you know, obviously doesn't, um, have any correlation with the reliability or validity of a claim or statement or, um, the, uh, evidence presented, um, if it's the same, same message, same exact wording, everything identical, well, um, it uh, doesn't change the accuracy of the statement or the how true it is um, or even how false it is if a person lies. Um, which I do so rarely, I um, <laughs> don't even think about the concept of it, right? Um, it doesn't really cross my mind very often, um, unless, you know, I'm talking to, like, well, I mean, I haven't had too many interactions where I really need to sincerely worry about being lied to, but regardless of such, um, the, uh, um, concept being, uh, you know, um, just because I'm not wearing a shirt or I am wearing a shirt, um, doesn't change the fact that, you know, um, like a, a certain event happened in the past or that I'm being abused, um, like I am right now with hypnosis. So, <clears throat> something I noticed was by, uh, um, basically, uh, you know, in order for, um, you know, like, uh, people to be willing to help me, um, or, uh, you know, listen to me, um, uh, you know, and 
uh, like, uh, literally, like, in order to feel safe, I had to, um, be attractive, uh, is one aspect, uh, regardless of how intelligent or comprehensive it, of an explanation I provided or how much evidence I provided, um, I could, uh, you know, um, it, it seemed like, uh, you know, I could, uh, this is probably not good <laughs> at all. Um, well, regardless, a lot of people already know about how, um, you know, sexual attraction can uh, be used to um, manipulate a person, um, regardless of such. Um, like, uh, you know, very rarely is it ever, at, like, I mean, oh, I mean, um, you know, unless you're, like, marketing or advertising something, um, it's not... Uh, like very commonly, deliberately, and intentionally um, utilized as a method of, um, you know, uh, being um, seen as credible or intelligent or sane or rational. Um, most often it's manipulated to get um, somebody to do something that they normally wouldn't do. Um, but, um, you know, which, um, has different, you know, um, ethical implications than, you know, what I'm referencing where I, uh, you know, um, use it as a survival skill to be seen as, um, credible, um, uh, listen to and to be understood to uh, be believed um, to be seen as sane so um, it's like uh, you know say for example if you um, cite a resource of information um, like a, uh, a well accredited university like Yale or Harvard um, you know uh, that is a uh, method of obtaining credibility in a situation, um, and, uh, as long as, uh, I mean, like, it's, uh, basically all I'm trying to imply is, um, you know, I didn't mean, um, to, uh, um, deceitfully manipulate or, um, uh, manipulate or change or alter behavior patterns. But most this is inhibiting me from finishing the sentence. That specifically just to make it seem as if <laughs> I could be doubting myself or something, but I'm just trying to talk right now. And the hypnosis is making this difficult, so moving on. Um it's uh something that basically like um wasn't exactly um used with any ill intention or um uh, to, um, you know, against, um, like, uh, especially because, um, you know, I was completely honest, <laughs> um, and accurate and, uh, real, um, you know, being, I was being abused and it's like, um, just, uh, having, um, hypnosis is inhibiting me, having, um, credibility, having, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, either. hypnosis is making it so difficult for me to talk. Um, Uh, well, what I was describing basically was, um, you know, uh, it's just kind of like, uh, even if it was used with a, you know, deliberate, um, purpose, but, um, 
regardless of such. Um, um, I guess there's there's no system here to know. Uh, regardless of such, um, uh, just like how um, being honest is a deliberate um, behavior, so is telling a lie. So, um, you know, um, or even speaking, being very deliberate of a behavior, telling a story, explaining a situation, being a deliberate behavior, including specific details, being deliberate behaviors. So, um, elaboration. So, um, it's just, uh, um, you know, something that I noticed that, um, I, you know, like, uh, um, when I, when I was being honest and then being accused of lying, um, or also oftentimes on being, uh, you know, questioned of, uh, my sanity or validity of claims. And, um, interestingly enough, <laughs> uh, you know, it seemed as if, um, selfish desires really have much more of an influence than they should on a person. Um, I'm an extremely selfless person, so, by nature. Um, it's what got me into the situation, and it's what's going to get me out of it, too. Um... Whoa, that makes sense. Huh. Okay, um, uh, I'm changing the subject right now, but spent too much time on it. Um, not making very much progress, unfortunately, either. Um, but, moving on, so, miscellaneous reference from Facebook post. I was hypnotized. To think I could be. Passionate, not considerate. Um, I also want to elaborate on that too. Yes, hypnotic. Oh, my back is hurting, by the way. <laughs> Can't exactly lean back anymore either. There we go. There is a lack of a logical explanation for an alternative um, cause other than post hypnotic suggestion the back pain um <clears throat> uh because you know without the logic that's when i noticed that the um pain subsides basically uh or the intensity of a suggestion subsides um to an ins in insignificant fraction or a uh, um small portion okay as soon as i think i could be compassionate but not considerate um using hypnotic
addition. Of comprehensive and cognitive processes of how others would feel. This is on my Facebook. So basically, like, um, uh, and the way that I'm also going to describe this is, um, you know, I'm a naturally very empathetic person, but, um, um, just to summarize it, uh, um, you know, in regards to comprehension of a subject or a concept or a situation, um, an inability to comprehend a situation um, results would result in a lack of understanding um, and obtain the res result that I described. So, um, you know, like... Um, uh, uh, I'll specify as well, um, like, uh, if, um, somebody was, uh, attempting to describe a situation to me and their feelings in a situation, <clears throat> um, this was a very difficult thing for me to, uh, I mean, especially in the situation at the time, um, with the, uh, beliefs instilled hypnotically. Um, where, like, uh, you know, it was something, like, if it wasn't a life-threatening situation, um, you know, I was, my mind was preoccupied, so then I couldn't take the time to really fully comprehend or, um, evaluate and analyze, um, the situation, process the situation, um, described to me. Because, um, if it was, like, uh, about somebody hurting a person's feelings, um, for, I mean, like, you know, I'm just using a random example, um, I actually can't think of any specific ones, uh, but, like, um, you know, um, somebody feeling, like, sad because they were lonely, um, or something, um, or whatever, um, <clears throat> and, um, you know, not being able to, uh, um, you know, just, like, uh, because naturally my, um, instinctive thought was, uh, because, you know, a lot of relationships are kind of give and take, and, uh, in the situation I was kind of like, okay, I need help, I need somebody to give me some help with the situation, and, you know, obtaining credibility, and, um, you know, like, uh, help with actually, you know, um, successfully disclosing evidence of the murders, um, and, you know, and I, uh, sit, like, uh, and it's really unfortunate because you could imagine how, you know, just by committing murder it would, um, uh, diminish the, um, appearance, the significance of other, um, you know, other non-life-threatening issues. Um, if it was something that was life-threatening, it definitely would have been able to catch my attention. If it was something that was urgent, um, much more, but, you know, I just, uh, so there, there was that for one, which, um, you know, kind of, uh, naturally, like, <clears throat> in the situation, I, there was, like, nothing I could do about that, and it was, like, um, you know, I was left in a situation where it was, like, okay, I need somebody to understand me, um, and in order for me to try to do that, um, you know, I might have to take the time to individually, like, uh, you know, try to help somebody else out with something, um, so then they have the motivation to care about me and to listen, to hear me out. So then, um, you know, 
put into a situation where in order to save somebody's life in an urgent situation, um, I wouldn't be able to directly tell anybody that, you know, like, hey, I witnessed a murder, um, and to prove that I care about you, how, um, tell me about your day, um, do you have any psychological issues that you need therapy for? <laughs> um, so, you know, like, basically, uh, you know, um, and of course, uh, you know, I, I could honestly describe a situation like, uh, you know, well, um, I, I investigated some murders and stuff like that, um, and, uh, you know, um, I, uh, am trying to, uh, you know, uh, open a case, um, for the investigation, um, you know, and, like, uh, it's just kind of, um, even though what I would be doing was selfless, because, you know, it wasn't my life, it wasn't me dying, it was somebody else. But, um, at the same time, uh, I had to, um, you know, it would almost, like, it would almost seem, like, selfish, like, uh, you know, because these aren't my, these aren't everybody else's murder investigations, they're my murder investigations, they're not everyone else's problems, they're my problems. Um, or at least, you know, um, it's, uh, understandable that, you know, I can't expect anybody to take on the responsibility for, um, you know, um, these types of murders, uh, unless, you know, they're, um, in a position where they're, um, reasonably able to. 